Kay Izana. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So for this video, this was a requested video. Somebody commented on another video that I made and she asked me to share my um, spreadsheet that I have for all of my finances. And I thought about like, she wanted me to put one where you can download it. And I thought about it, but for myself, I'm still kind of figuring it out. So I don't really want to give something to somebody and it not be a hundred percent accurate. So I thought the best way for me to do it would be just to show you mine and walk you step by step through everything that I do and the different columns that I use of what I'm recording ready for filing my taxes as a music artist. So I'm literally going to go over to my computer and just pull the whole thing up and show you it. So this is my income and expenditure form. And this is like my real form with all of my figures in it from the previous years and things. And I just wanted to show you it and just break it down a little bit because on HMRC, um, they have it split into certain categories, which can be quite confusing. And I got very, very confused. So the first columns I have like the date and then what it is. And I've color coded just so I can keep it smooth and obvious. I don't know. And then I have my income streams and I've separated these out because DistroKid pays in dollars and TuneCore pays in pounds, but they only pay in dollars until I withdraw the money and it gets converted through PayPal. So I just like to keep them separate so then I can see how much I'm getting from both of them. And then for my end expenditure, this is where I put the actual categories of what HMRC asked for because they break it up into their own types of categories of what they want. So the first column is producing and delivering goods and services, which includes materials to make it, the shipping and equipment and all of those kind of things, software and everything all goes here so it's everything that you pay for to produce your goods so in our case it's music which means studio time it means music videos it means literally everything to do with making the music and putting the music out there so everything <laughs> so some examples I have is I've got Facebook ads in this one but I'm pretty sure I saw that they actually have a section for marketing so my Facebook ads in the future will go in the marketing section but things like um, software plugins so I have fab filter software plugins there um, more Facebook ads Facebook ads printful which was my merch so TuneCore, where I had to pay TuneCore, like Waves, where I bought more plugins, music video that I paid for, like all of those kind of things get put in this section, you know, more music video that I paid for, um, Splice, which is a like sample company where you can get lots of samples royalty free, more business cards, like all kinds of things, you know, that all go in this section because it's how you produce and deliver your goods. So your music, your merch, your whatever other income streams you have, whatever kind of creative projects you have, how you create them is this one. How you distribute them is in the next one. So that includes packaging, transporting and storing your goods. And I don't know whether distribution companies like DistroKid and TuneCore come under that. I've put it under that, but I don't know whether it does because I feel like the music music kind of products are completely different to physical products. So I don't know, but I've put all of my DistroKid fees in the distribution column because it's called a distribution company, DistroKid is. So I figured it will come under that, com like, it will come under that column, but I don't actually know if it technically does. But this is what the accountant will figure out for you because I don't know. <laughs> so we have producing and delivering the goods. Then you have distribution, distributing the goods, including transporting and storing your goods. So if you have like merch stored in a warehouse or something, then that cost would go in that column. Then you also have admin and bank fees as another column. 
And then you have tangible assets, which is like your equipment, your stock. So if you have merch, stock, that would go there. So in distribution would be the cost of actually storing the merch. So like if you have warehouse fees, the fees for the warehouse, but then if you have how much you paid for the stock, how much you paid for the merch would go in this column. If it's a tangible asset, like if you have the merch stored in your house or wherever, then it's an asset that you have. So that would go in your tangible assets as well as like your computer, any kinds of equipment that you have, any vehicles that you have that are for your business and any property that you own for your business. And intangible assets is things like trademarks and patents and those kind of things that are things that you own, but it's not actually a physical asset that you hold in your hands, <laughs> apart from the certificate, but you know what I mean. So my trademark went in that column, my computer that I bought for my business and all of my equipment went in that column, my admin and bank fees, my distribution costs, and then everything to create and deliver all of the services and products and music is all in that column. And that's how I separate it out and then I colour code it in relation to the right one. And I, I literally got these... Um, what they're called and everything from HMRC when I went to submit my taxes because I had this listed out as like travel costs was one column and software plugins was another column and my website was another column and like all of these things were separated out into so many columns and they don't want that they want it all combined so I had to go back through and combine it all together and put it I put it in the with the headings that they have because it's what they want, because it's on their bloody form thing. So that's just how I broke it down. I don't know if it's accurate, if it's correct, because this is my first year doing it, so don't judge. This is why I didn't want to put it publicly for everyone in case it's wrong, but this is like the basic foundation of it. They do have a section for admin, and I'm pretty sure they have a section for marketing as well, so I probably will create another column and put my marketing, all my Facebook ads and everything, all in there separately. I also just wanna add at the bottom of this is the fact that when you come to total it all up, HMRC like you to round the totals down, so make sure if you're doing this yourself, that you keep a track of what you've actually submitted because it's not gonna be the 100% accurate figures. So my total income for these two was this, was this figure for my income. And then I rounded it down and that's what I submit to HMRC because they want it rounded down. And for over here, the total expenses was this figure, I know it's pretty high compared to income, but this is the first year of business. So when I rounded it down, I rounded it down to this figure. So you need to make sure you know that this is what you've rounded it down. And with my assets, when they're added together, like originally it was this figure, so I had to round it down. And then you add it together and it's rounded down. So you always round it down to the nearest pound. And you will also need to input these figures again in the next year when you come to submit your accounts. So you need to keep a record of what numbers, what figures you put in. So then in my next tax year, when I come to submit the next one, I have these figures again so I can input them again and it will match what I already put, you know, because you have to keep ugh, going back through it all and stuff. So just keep a record of them. So if you ever need to know what you inputted in the previous year for your expenses, you'll have it written in your spreadsheet. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Definitely comment down below if you have any more video suggestions or any questions. You can also DM me on Instagram or text and WhatsApp me. Everything about me is in the description box below. If you would like a one-to-one -one session with me, I also offer those for business, branding, marketing, as well as for spiritual topics and emotional alchemy and everything about yourself and creating the life that you want. So all the links to everything is in the description box below as well as links to my crystal jewelry and my music and my social media and everything else and I will see you in the next video. Bye.